Halloween is coming up, guys. So we gotta do something scary for Halloween. Hey, guys. Guess what? We're gonna take a break from car videos and do something interesting today. It's getting close to Halloween. Very close to Halloween. And if anybody out there ever liked the movie Big, which I did, this might interest you. Because we're talking about fortune telling. I wanted to get this fortune teller and we wanted to take him and put him outside so that the kids get a little fortune as they come around trick-or-treating. How do we do that? Well, last year there was a limited edition uh, a fortune teller made by Jemmy that was sold. It was pretty cool. And if you look closely, it's close, kind of close to the Zoltar that we had in uh, the movie Big with Tom Hanks. One of my favorites. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and set this thing up. But we're going to accentuate it with a little frame around it to make it look like a real fortune teller. Man, let me tell you, this sure looks like a body when you open it up. So what we're going to do is take these arms out one by one, put them over here in the barbecue. Now no roast limbs today. We got a little crystal ball over here, which is going to be fun. Even got a cool little skull design in front there too. I would say that's pretty cool. Then we got another arm over here. That'd be funny if we put this outside of your trunk or in the garbage can. Might raise a few eyebrows, but it's just a plastic arm. Okay, here we go. Let's take this guy out of here. Okay, as you can see, we got the metal frame that goes down here. We got the parts lined up over here, crystal ball. <clears throat> we got all the plastic poles and we've got the cloaking over there. That makes up the little booth. Like we said, we're going to do something special. Okay, Zoltar is just hanging out there. He's just chilling while we get the frame set. He's doing all cut, right? My man. Okay. I got to admit, this thing's really easy to put together. The arm is just like hang on there in little hangers. Very well engineered little piece. Uh, fits on the metal frame, and then they give you a shroud to put on, and soon we'll have the crystal ball on there. The arms and the crystal ball muley clamp in with little electronic connectors that go on in like about two minutes. This thing is looking good. He's looking scary. Okay, we got the four-piece base on the side. Now we're into the shroud section, which fits right over the Zoltan. Okay, frame complete. They basically just like slide into each other. It's really a light-duty makeshift frame. It's pretty much made for the indoors, but I'm going to show you how to make it outdoor proof by putting a little frame on top of it. Okay, it's set up now with the curtain. You basically clap activate him and he's really cool his eyes light up crystal ball lights up in a little while so I got the curtain set up everything's cool he's really nice you can see it's light it's really light duty give it a clap you activate it his eyes light up and he's really spooky especially at night you get to see the crystal ball and all kinds of weird lights behind him and you see his eyes light up as well it's pretty creepy, and even the sound is like from a retro carnival. It's like really being almost like in the movie It. All right, so we're gonna try and build a little front for it and see how it goes. So here's what I did. I took a nice like uh, sheet of plywood over here that I lined around. I took some plexiglass that was lying around here as well. I put it together, and I got some old stain that was lying around. So when I got the old stain, and the old wood and the old plexiglass in shape here's what I did I took it and I painted it and I put on Zoltan over there do you all seeing and I put a little hole a few holes in there so that you could uh, you get the full effect of the uh, voice activated box and so it's a little bit more sensitive and I put a little eyeball down here nothing fancy but when you like stimple it and you put in an old finish, it makes it look like something retro. So I got that in front of there, the plexiglass. It looks pretty real. What do we want to do? Oh yeah, I put in 10 cents over there too. Not bad printing. So this is what I did. So I got it up here. Now, this is pretty light duty, this thing over here. So you can see it's like just really like a, like a the kind of kind of material that you get free free shopping bags at the soup market with. So I'm just going to try and frame this out real simple so that this thing is kind of like anchors the whole shroud down and not only that it holds this in position as well so when the kids come and they get a fortune it makes it look like they're right in the movie big and hopefully their fortunes will all be all good and come true. Here 
go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, you pick up a 10 foot long 2x4, and then you put it in, let's see, this cheap Harbor Freight cutoff saw goes only up to about 45 degrees. So you know what? Let's try 45 degrees, should be fine. You cut in an angle there, split it right in half, see where it winds up. I like to take chances in life, I guess, you know? Uh, <clears throat> measure zero times and cut first and see how many times you cut. Okay, that's 145 degree cut. Let's try another one here. So here we go. You can see I put in like two screws over here. Two little drywall screws right there. I got a 45 degree angle, see where it's basically straight, and you put a 45 degree at the end also. We're going to put one on the other side as well, and then we're going to put this sucker on. So here we are. I got the framing up. <laughs> These things are fantastic, man. Just like in a movie big. This is Zoltan instead of Zoltar. It's even got a little window over here. That was actually a crack, but you know what? Kids could put like a nickel or something in there and think that they're, they're at a real regular arcade. So the side over here, as you can see, I put in two screws over here, long two by four, put the frame on, and this thing is good for a few nights. The wind won't carry it away. I put a little spanner over here, right across here. Just a little piece of wood, just to tie it together. I'm gonna break it down for the season, just unzip it, just drywall screws as well. Comes across here. And then I'm just going to decorate the sides with a little bit of cloth, dark cloth over here, maybe some skulls and everything, and it'll cover up the frame. So that'll be okay. So I'll turn it on at night. Right now we got the Zoltan just about done here, and it's ready for the outdoors, ready for Halloween front lawn decoration. Make sure you put 10 cents per fortune. Okay. Daddy, where's the tripod? It's in the living room on the left side. <laughs>